Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So, ghost copies are a really cool Studio One feature that many of you appreciate because it makes it very easy to copy and mirror edits across multiple sections of your song arrangement. But did you know that this instrument track feature seemingly also works for audio events? And here's how. So in case you haven't seen my episode on ghost copies yet or you want to have a quick summary, basically what you can do on any instrument track is to copy any event region like this with a left click and before you let go somewhere else, you can usually hold down Option on a Mac or Alt on Windows to duplicate it. But if you hold down Command instead on a Mac or Control on Windows, you gotta create a so-called shared copy, a ghost copy, indicated by this little cute ghost icon right here. And this means that these two events are now linked and any changes that you make to one of them is mirrored on the other. So for example, if I add a couple of notes here, they're also gonna be added on the other side. If I take a couple of notes out, they're gonna be also taken out on the left side. And if I change the velocity of any notes, then the same thing is gonna happen on the other copy as well and so forth. Now, this is usually where the story ends because if you try the same thing on an audio track like this and you drag an event out, it doesn't do anything if you hold down command. It's just the same thing as the regular copy. But there's an actual trick that you can do and that is to create a part instead. You see that ghost copies are actually something that's reserved to parts in Studio One and parts are containers that contain events inside. So for example, this is actually an instrument part here on this instrument track because there's note events inside and these are audio events and they can be merged into a part by pressing G. See, now I have created a container for these. And if you wonder why that extended to the bar boundary, that's because the grid is currently active. If I don't want that, I just toggle the grid off. And now I have these three events merged into an audio part. And when I do this, now I can actually use the ghost copy feature for audio as well. So when I now go ahead and duplicate this to somewhere else and I hold down instead of option on a Mac or auto windows, command on a Mac or control on Windows, it's the same thing. I get the ghost copy icon once again, but now for audio. And any changes that I make to the audio events within are going to be mirrored on the copy. So for example, if I change the endpoint here, same thing is happening on the other side. If I shift the content around, which you can do with Option and Command on a Mac or Alt and Control on Windows, that's gonna happen on the other side as well. If I change the event gain, it's gonna be mirrored as you can see and pretty much any kind of edits, even splitting and deleting is mirrored. So this is a very useful feature if you're just trying to mirror all kinds of edits across your arrangement sections. And if you didn't know that this exists for audio as well, then now you do. Thank you for watching.